Sunday morning, the bright sun shines on a beautiful green rice field in Vietnam. The field is in the Mekong Delta, which everybody says is gorgeous. There are farmers mindfully planting rice to eat. The rice field smells earthy and the morning wind breezes through the grass. It is a quiet wind. The rice is bright, bright green and it feels like pillow stuffing. Rice farming was first started around 6,000 to 7,000 BC. Most rice farming in Vietnam happens in the Mekong Delta because it is one of the world's richest agricultural regions. Vietnam is the second largest rice producer in the world. Thailand is the first. There are two ways to grow rice. A rice farmer, Mr. Sang, says, ก็ตัดเงินน้ํายังมันนะแล้วมันไปเติมเยอะๆเราVietnam relies a lot on rice farming and floods. If there are no floods, life would be hard for the farmers. Currently, there is a major threat to sustainability of rice farming. Droughts are a big problem because droughts destroy farmers' rice crops. Rice plants dry out because the temperatures during droughts are often very high. Another threat to rice farming is the rice weevil. Rice weevils are bugs that destroy the rice that farmers plant. This is a problem because rice production is an important part of the food supply in the country and to the national economy. To solve the drought problem facing the rice field, it is necessary to use backup reservoirs or access to other water systems. To overcome the weevils, the rice farms need to use fertilizer to kill the weevils. Once these problems are fixed, rice farming has a great chance of being sustained. If all the disasters and problems for the rice fields are fixed, life in the rice field would be back to normal. Farmers will continue to mindfully plant rice. The rice field will still have their earthy smell and rice farming will continue to be an important part of Vietnamese culture.